Hi everyone! So the Yukon Territory of Canada actually sparked the interest of a famous writer named Robert W. Service. He So much so that he wrote a poem entitled The Spell of the Yukon. In this poem he goes in depth about his experiences with the gold rush in particular in the, that occurred in this region and he explains the nature that surrounds him that there's this heavy wetness around him in the hills and in the rivers and the mountains that surround them. And he goes in depth by saying that there's this silence that you experience when you're in this this area of the Yukon that when someone experiences that silence, it will bludgeon you dumb. I, as a society, we're not accustomed to silence anymore. So once we're in the presence of silence, it it, it will have an unusual effect on us that would simply confuse us. There's another passage in his poem that says, Some say God was tired when he made it. Some say it's a fine land to shun, maybe, but there's some as would not that would trade it for no land on earth, and I am one. Service. In this section of the poem, he clearly states his intimate connection with this land, with the Yukon, by indicating that only few people truly cherish this region. He is clearly appreciating the land, what this land has to offer us, and recognizing that this land needs to be preserved by explaining he will not trade this land for no other in the world, in turn appreciating the uniqueness that the Yukon carries with it. Um, he places this importance that there is no land like it, so with that alone, there is a significant importance for us to put our efforts into preserving this land.